Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I today wanted to talk about Todd Howard himself, the lead developer for the game Bethesda, which is owned by Microsoft. There was actually an email that um, Todd wrote himself talking about, um, you know, a space RPG and how that would be cool. Again, 25 years ago. So this is definitely something that he's been thinking about and iterating upon in the background for a long time now. And it's really cool to see that this is entirely now coming to fruition after all this time. And I guess for him, um, this is probably something that he's really wants to do. I don't know what his plans are, if he's going to be working forever. Yo, by the way, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, because it helps with the algorithm a bunch. But I am happy that at least, you know, this is going to be something that, again, he's been thinking about for a long time and is coming out now. There was even another post that was talking about how the developer was, you know, for 17 years specifically working on the ideas behind Starfield and he again talked about this in an interview. He also in the interview said that, you know, again it will be coming out in 2022, that they're going to show some actual gameplay when it gets closer to release like they usually do and that, you know, that it's going to be first person and third person so you can do whichever you want and that they really enjoy that part, kind of gameplay that um, it's first person is still our main prime way of playing but there is third person for those that want it Mr Todd Howard did also say that it's going to be a bit more of a hardcore role playing game than they've done previously they've designed some really good character systems for choosing your background and stuff like that which they've wanted to do in their games a long time ago and felt like the, that was the best way to represent the characters that people want to express. And again, that's something that they've really doubled down on from what I'm hearing this time. So I'm very excited to see where that leads this game. And I'm really hoping again that, that the story and the scale is going to be really strong. And that's what he says. He literally says the large scale and storytelling should uh, be there and it's going to have a minute to minute feel of re a rewarding gameplay experience and that um, you'll just want to pass your time and watch the sunset go and pick the flowers or whatever in the quiet moments and that they feel really good too and it's really exciting to hear him talk like that that this is really his at uh, most probably one of his more ambitious projects that he's done i know that fallout has a very at this point solidified universe but this is a new IP, it's something that they're doing from the ground up and with that becomes a lot of uh, creative freedoms and liberties which necessarily doing serialised content like Bethesda's been doing for the last few years now they can kind of push out of and really stretch the boundaries creatively. Now to be fair, Mr Todd Howard has also occasionally um, you know, said some things in the past in terms of his hype phase for games where well, it hasn't necessarily come to fruition and I'm sure with it, with this there are going to be aspects that they're not going to fully live up to and we do have to also keep that in mind that no game is perfect and there always will be you know a few things that aren't perfect with any game you know for everyone that likes Skyrim which I think is a lot of people you know nobody can say it was objectively a bad game I don't think um, there's certainly a, a aspects of it that didn't live up to people's expectations and that's just fine that, you know, nobody's perfect and no game is perfect. Um, you know, I know a lot of people really liked the storytelling in the previous games to Skyrim, but they really liked the graphic graphic fidelity, the modability, and also the atmosphere, the wild creation in Skyrim I thought was really solid. I think a lot of people would agree with that. And also the storytelling wasn't bad, and that's also a good point to keep in mind. The Fallout 4 was, in a similar way, a good game, it may have not been great, it may have not been Fallout New Vegas level, and even Fallout New Vegas, to be honest, I don't think isn't an amazing game, for me at least. You know, for me actually, I rather enjoy the Mass Effect universe, and that kind of more sci-fi thing, so for me, Starfield actually is a lot more exciting than even uh, Fallout New Vegas was. Although I did play, obviously, all, most of the Bethesda games, I think all of them, most of the way through at least since Skyrim and I did play more Wind as well. On the other side I do want to say it's also important to keep in mind that Bethesda has not made a new game in several years now. It's very obvious that this is their full time thing that they're working on. They really have put in a lot of extra people into the gameplay engine which I think it was four times more than Fallout 4 that they've put into the gameplay engine. It's very clear to me that again they are going for a 
entirely new world. They're going through a new atmosphere. And again, I'm really excited to hopefully see that come to a good conclusion with this game and really hopefully get us to where we want to be with this game. Super excited to see it. I think in general, RPG games, for whatever reason, seem to do a really good job of at least being decent. You can even look at Mass Effect Andromeda. And that game, again, it wasn't awful. It wasn't terrible. There the were innovations. And the story wasn't good. But it was at least, like, passable. The same way, you know, say even the, the Wars of the Dragon Age games, and similarly aren't awful. They're not bad. They're just like, they're good or they're, they're at worst like mediocre. So again, I, I, I'm, I have high hopes for this again simply because it is going to be a new IP. I think as well, when he was talking about this being a 25 year old project, that he was saying it was going to be a NASA punk type of thing. And what the definition of punk is, is that it's a troubled future, something opposed to a utopian future that you again could see in the Mass Effect games. And of course before all the horrible stuff that started to happen in the Mass Effect universe. Um, I get the feeling that the plot of this game will have to do with the humanity's exploration of space going wrong in some way, uh, hence why he calls it NASA Punk. Of course after Cyberpunk uh, I think a lot of people are a little bit hesitant to even use that word. Um, you know, a lot of people really seem to not be very happy with Cyberpunk. They were very mad at it. And I 100% agree. I was disappointed with every single aspect of Cyberpunk. I don't think they did a single aspect of that game right. The, the world wasn't really what I expected it to be. The story wasn't there, which is the most important part for me. The role-playing aspect wasn't there for me, the combat was bad, the mechanics were bad in terms of, you know, uh, driving, um, and on top of that, it, the, the AI was really bad as well. So it was almost like an indie game studio tried to make a new game. Now I do not think that's going to happen with this game, because, because Bethesda has a very good uh, track record of having at least good gameplay features. Even you can look at Fallout 76 and nobody could say it was awful in terms of gameplay. People can say okay it was good in terms of gameplay but they did some things wrong. You can look at Fallout 4 and you can say the story was good but they did some things wrong. You know there was maybe some things that he would have liked to see explored more. They would have liked to see some things different. Fair enough but nobody could argue that the core game is bad. And again, I don't think Bethesda's going to uh, let us down in that regard. By the way, if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. It helps the channel a bunch with the algorithm. Have a great day, guys. Until next time, GG, subscribe.